Hi everyone, it's Michelle and welcome to another video. So today I'm going to be doing something that is so fun with you guys. I'm doing another book haul um, video with you guys. I explained in the other one that I did that somewhere on booktube, I remember, I can't remember who it is that said like the first couple of like book hauls that you do on booktube just end up being <laughs> astronomical, oh my gosh. And I've had another one or two that have kind of filtered through and it was so exciting opening these boxes that I had to share some of this excitement with you guys because I am dying to read some of these books. I almost can't read the box So let's dive in and see what I got. So first off, I got a series that I am super excited about. I have got an absolute like attraction to beautiful covers these covers are not only beautiful the story i've i've heard so many reviews about these books and they say it starts off slow but it's they say it comes across almost very historical very storytelling with like a lot of mythology almost with it um it's based on like a russian russian wilderness and lots of storytelling with you know, very interesting magic system. They say the first book is quite slow, but the second and the third book are apparently incredible. I am super excited to read them. And that is the Bear and the Nightingale series by um, Catherine Arden. I almost said Elizabeth. <laughs> anyway, it's the Bear and the Nightingale, the Girl in the Tower, and the Winter of the Witch. Now, I don't know about you guys, but these covers are just so beautiful. So from what I remember of these stories, you've got your main protagonist, I think her name's Vasily, Vasya. So Vasya's got a widowed father, she and her siblings sit around the fire at night and they listen to one of the old ladies telling stories about these magical beings that kind of protect them or are very involved in their world. And at some point her dad brings home a new wife and this new wife is very devout, not interested in these things and like tries to get rid of them and ignore the stories, ignore the, the, um, the, um, yeah, ignore their mythology, ignore the, the history of the storytelling and the, the beings in this story. And from what I understand, it backfires. So apparently this reads absolutely beautiful. It's got a lot of, a lot of imagery involved and I am so excited to be reading this series. So next up, I have just finished reading the Akatar series by Sarah J Maas, which is of course A Court of Thorns and Roses, A Court of Mist and Fury, A Court of um, Wings and Ruin, and then I also read A Court of Frost and Starlight. And I was actually very, very excited to be getting the next one, which I know obviously is about Nesta and Cassian and you know, their relationship and how this whole thing kind of goes along. So of course I got A Court of Silver Flames. Now, I have to be honest with you guys, if it wasn't a passion for Sarah J Maas, like, I wouldn't be getting this one, you know, I really, 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 like, who doesn't enjoy the first series? I know there are a few, but I think they're kind of far and few between. The new covers, I'm not thrilled about. I'm not going to lie, I like the old covers. I have been hunting for them because, of course, I saw them and I was like, no, I'll do them later, and I didn't realize they discontinued, and it has been an absolute frustration trying to source them. I've had some really helpful guys from various different bookstores um, and I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that they're all going to kind of filter through because I happen to read the digital copies of the other and I'm trying to source those beautiful hard covers with the girls on them um, just because I think those covers are phenomenal. I don't know why they changed them. But anyway, this is obviously the new book that she's brought out, the fourth one. I am so excited to read it. I was shocked and like so pleasantly surprised that it was such a nice big hefty like solid book um i love when they bring out a series that's got a massive solid book i'm just praying that this is going to be a worthwhile solid book instead of maybe just like a whole bunch of filler and you're like um shouldn't this have ended already so anyway let's see what's next so this series I'm not gonna lie i'm reading this because the movie was for me it was incredible i really just i enjoyed the vibe i enjoyed the story like i enjoyed the different take completely and that is the fifth wave so the fifth wave is by rick yancey and we've got the fifth wave the infinite sea and the last star 
I've actually just started reading this. Um, I've, by the time I'm doing this video, I've actually already <laughs> read the first book and on to the third. I was pleasantly, like, I'm, I'm going to tell you quickly, I'm, I was very pleasantly surprised that the first book is was wonderfully adapted into the movie. I'm super impressed with how they did it. Not, uh, not often do I feel like they really captured the essence of it. It's my personal opinion. But I am so excited to see what happens after. So I'm reading after. I love the way it changes perspectives, but you don't know, like... Anyway, I'm not going to go into that now. I'll do a review for it so you guys can check that out um, in a week or so. And yeah, super excited about this one. I'm really loving the way it's being written. And I'm so interested to see how the story ends. So I'm hoping it finishes off as strong as it started. So the next book I, book I got is actually a big recommendation from Haley in the book, uh, Haley in the Bookland. Haley in Bookland. What is wrong with me? <laughs> Haley in Bookland. And she absolutely loves Alice in Wonderland. I'm also a huge fan of Alice in Wonderland, amongst a few others, and um, childhood stories. And that is a retelling of The Wicker Queen, which is Heartless by Marissa Meyer. I have heard this is incredible. It is the backstory of The Wicker Queen. She obviously didn't start out that way, and kind of what happened to cause her to be so wicked and cruel and mean. And um, I battled to find a cover I liked. The, I like paperbacks, the paperback that I originally found, I really didn't like the cover, I hunted it a bit. I think this one with the white and, you know, the black roses is just absolutely beautiful. And I am super, 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 super chuffed that I managed to find this one. So I'm excited to read this one and kind of just get a bit of a history. I've got another retelling here, which I'm going to go through with you guys, which I am even more excited about. The next set of books I got is recently, if you guys have been watching any of my videos, I'll try and link this one down below, but I did a review on Lee Bardugo's um, Shadow and Bone series, absolutely loved it. She's got another series out, which is also set in the Grishaverse, and that is, of course, I'm sure you guys know what I'm going to say, it is Six of Crows and the sequel, The Crooked Kingdom. So this is an interesting story, it's also based in the Grishaverse. And I'm just going to read the back to you. This is kind of like a high story, but it just says a convict with a thirst for revenge, a sharpshooter who can't walk away from a wager, a runaway with a privileged past, a spa known as the Wraith, a heart render using her magic to survive the slums, and a thief with a gift for unlikely escapes. Kaz's crews are the, are the only ones who might stand between the world and destruction if they don't kill each other first. <laughs> so this looks super fun. It is six dangerous outcasts, one impossible heist. It's being it's been adapted actually into a Netflix um, into a Netflix series, the Shadow and Bone series. I don't know if you guys know is also being adapted into um, a Netflix series, which is super exciting. Which is part of the reason why I want to read this one because I want to see the first series in order before I start the second series. <sighs> that was a mouthful. I hope you guys caught all of that in between. Okay, now the last book. I came across this and I was so excited. I just thought this is absolutely phenomenal. One of my favorite kitty stories, I'm actually busy reading it for homeschooling with my son at the moment, is Peter Pan. And I absolutely love, like, beautiful covers. And this is just, gosh, I think this is gorgeous. Anyway, it's called Dust by Cara Swanson. It's um, I actually am wondering if it's uh, the first in a series. I'm not 100% sure. I haven't found a lot on it on uh, booktube. So when I read this, I'll definitely do for a review for you guys. I'm super excited. What I really love as well is that the book itself is this beautiful little light blue. And I don't know if you guys can see <laughs> that dust cover. It actually has it in gold. I think that is so pretty. So um, not that I plan on losing the cover. But anyway, I'm just going to read you guys what it says here. Gosh, there you go. Um, this girl Claire believes the world is too dark for magic to be real since her twin brother was stolen away as a child. Now Claire's desperate search points to London and a boy who shouldn't exist. Peter Pan is having a beastly time getting back to Neverland. Grounded in London and hunted by his own lost boys, Peter searches for the last hope of restoring his crumbling island. Alas, with magic in her veins. The girl who fears her own destiny is on a collision course with a boy who never wanted to grow up. And the truth behind this fairy tale is about to unravel everything Claire thought she knew about Peter Pan and herself. This just sounds phenomenal. I am beyond excited to read this. 
So that is my quick little um, book haul. Gosh, I am having so much fun at discovering some of these new books. I, as soon as I read them, I'm gonna do some reviews. Um, check out the rest of my channel. Let me know if you like any of the videos, if there's anything you wanna see more of. If you enjoyed this one, please don't forget to click on the link, uh, like and the subscribe buttons below. And I will see you guys soon with some reviews. Bye.